What's up guys and welcome to Myth Busting Mondays episode 78. Yes dudes, this is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you guys have got any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave those in the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. This week we've got some amazing myths for you guys so hopefully you are super super hyped about that and if you haven't done it already make sure you do smash a like on this episode of Myth Busting Mondays. For the last two weeks you guys have smashed over 4,500 likes on both episodes. So let's make it three weeks in a row right now, dudes. We can definitely do it. Smash a like right now, dudes. And let's get on to the first myth of today's show. So the first myth of today's show, guys, is being sent in by Pac-Man World 3. And he says, on the final step of the Easter egg on Mom of the Dead, while you are on the plane during Afterlife, what happens if whoever is Weasel leaves the game on the plane now this is super super interesting because you guys know that once you do take that final plane ride over to the golden gate bridge with all four players or even two players as long as there is weasel inside of the game you'll then be in a face to face to the death against weasel and whatever character you also have on there now once one of the characters gets killed then the end game will appear but what happens if Weasel doesn't even make it to the bridge? What happens if he leaves the plane whilst you are riding it? Let's check this out, dudes. So right now, dudes, there's three of us inside the Mob of the Dead game, and one of us is Weasel. We have done every single step of the Mob of the Dead Easter egg, and we have just got on the plane right there as well, dude. So halfway to that Golden Gate Bridge, we'll make sure that the player that is Weasel will leave the game, and then we can see exactly what is going to happen. Are you ready for this, dudes? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going to happen, dude. Also, if you guys have never heard the music, Music on this part of the Easter egg. It's absolutely beautiful. Definitely check it out. But there you go. So Lunatic has now left and he was playing Weasel. So let's drop down onto the bridge and let's see what happens. First things first, we do have to revive our characters though. So let's go and revive our characters up on the electric chairs. And as you notice, Weasel is not there, dude. So we're able to actually revive ourselves and let's see what's going to happen, dudes. <sighs> Ooh, we revived and oh dude there you go look at that so instantly we win the game dude the cycle continues which means the end game appears and that is the end of the easter egg so technically we've really just found out a way how three player speedrunners can speed up their progress on the mob of the dead easter egg very very mental but they could literally make their progress on beating the easter egg quicker than it normally is but there you go dudes and let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth of today's show, dudes, is being sent in by Phlebas Mimus. And he says, myth, if you use the shield on Origins, will the tank still run you over? Now, this is one thing that really annoyed me on one speedrun attempt. I don't know if you guys remember. I did actually go down because I got run over by the tank. It pretty much ended the game because it glitched me out of the map. But normally, even if you just get run over by it anyway, you instantly get downed. Just the same as if you got stood on by the robots without the golden helmet. But can we use that shield that we can build in the map to actually protect us from this tank? Let's check it out, dudes. So right now, dudes, we are on Origins, and we, of course, have that shield as well. We've called the tank over from Generator 2 over to the church location to where we are by using the switch inside of the church. The tank is now making its way up, as we can see right there. And let's throw a monkey bomb. Let's lie down in the path of the tank and let you guys decide, will this still kill us? Yes or no? Inside of the comment section right now. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go, dude. So, no, the tank can no longer hurt us as long as we've got that shield out right there as well. And that is sick, dude. Literally, the tank can just push us and keep on pushing us forever. We never get down by the tank as long as you do have that shield out as well. But obviously, you need to remember, as soon as the shield does break, you will end up going down. But the shield cannot actually take damage from the tank. So, unless zombies actually hit you to get rid of that shield, you should be safe to literally run into that tank whenever you you one and you know what if you are like a high round player i don't know if the tank kills zombies on high rounds but feel free to use this technique dudes this is really really cool because obviously the shield makes you completely invincible to something that can normally kill zombies which is sick so there you go dudes Fleebus, thank you so much for sending that myth in dude that was awesome and let's get on to the next myth of today's show so the next myth of today's show dudes is being sent in by jeremy reens and he says myth in black ops 2 when you get the teddy bear out of the mystery box and have an emp grenade will the box stay and then four pizza emojis jeremy thank you so much for sending that in dude and you know what let's go and check it out 
So you guys know that inside of Black Ops 2, there were these things called EMP grenades. And mainly, they were pretty much just used by trolls inside of multiplayer games to basically throw at the mystery box or the pack a punch machine or the perks to actually disable whatever you threw them at. So if you throw them at the box while someone's actually trying to hit the box, the box will disappear. Then you can't pick up the weapon that you just paid 950 points for. So what will happen if we throw them at the box when the teddy bear is there? When it's the final spin of that box location, we get the teddy bear and then the box will move. Can we just EMP grenade the box to make it stay in that same location? I don't know. Let's go and check it out. So, dudes, I decided to do this myth on the map Town. It was one of the maps from Transit, but then I played on the solo one, which is a little bit smaller, so then you can get EMP grenades super quick, and I can just go and hit that mystery box until we do get the teddy bear right there. So, we just swapped the Galil for the Cap 40. Hopefully, this is going to be it. I mean, I've had like six goes on this box. Let's see, dudes. No, another Galil. Okay, one more time. It's got to be. It's got to be, dude. This is literally the seventh time I've hit this mystery box. Let's see. Should be a teddy bear. Boom. There you go. EMP. Let's do it, boys. Is it going to shoot? No, dudes, another one. No, it's not for shooting at all. So if you do get that teddy bear, it cannot go anywhere, dudes. It still does the exact same thing as if you normally get a teddy bear. EMP grenades are completely useless. Do not waste them. You may as well just wait until one of your friends hits the box and then troll them a little bit more. But no, you cannot make the box stay by throwing it at a teddy bear while it comes out of that mystery box, dude. But dude, thank you so much for sending that myth in. And let's get on to the next one of today's show, dudes. So the next myth of today's show, dudes, is being set in by Poisonous. And he says, myth, can you kill the Brutus with the acid trap on Mob of the Dead? So, dudes, I honestly don't know about this. I never really use traps on Mob of the Dead. I know we've got two traps traps that I mainly think about when I think about Mob of the Dead, which is the fan trap that's over near the warden's office, and also the acid trap that's over in the cafeteria, but I never use them. I know that the high round players use the acid trap, but I have no idea if it kills the Brutus or not, so there's only one way to find out, right? Let's do it, dudes. Let's go and find out if the Brutus can be killed using the acid trap. So right now, guys, I am on Mob of the Dead, and I'm currently training the Brutus around the cafeteria, and I'm gonna run straight over to the Switch right now and see if this is gonna work. So here we go, dudes. Let's check it out, and... Oh, dudes, no, oh, no, <laughs> dude, no, the acid trap does not kill the Brutus inside of Mother Dead. That would have been so cool, but it just doesn't do it, dude, so no. But one thing I did notice is that multiple, multiple times when I've attempted this, he always does his big roar, and then he just doesn't do anything. So he roars, and then literally that's all that happens. So no, you can't kill him with the acid trap, but I mean, you've got good enough weapons inside of Mother the Dead to take him out anyway, right? But there you go. Thank you so much for sending that myth in, dude. And we've got two more myths of today's show to go as well dude so let's jump straight into the next one which is being sent in by gib dorf and he says myth can you use the hell's retriever to grab the blunder gap from the warden's table when doing the upgrade quest and then loads of pizza emojis Dude, thank you so much for sending this myth in and all the pizza emojis as well, dudes. And let's check it out. I mean, you guys know by now that we can use the Hell's Retriever to actually pick up the drops that are inside of the cells. You don't actually have to open the doors of the cells to pick it up. And the same for normal drops around the map as well. If you kill a zombie and it drops an insta-kill, throw the Hell's Retriever and pick it up instead of actually having to run into the crowd of zombies and possibly being killed. Now, can we do this with the actual Blundergat once we picked up all of the skulls from around the map with the Hell's Retriever and then inside of the warden's office this blunder gat should appear straight up on the table right so let's go and check this out dudes so right now dudes we have now collected every single one of the skulls inside of mob of the dead right now so we can get the free blunder gat inside of the warden's office so let's walk in there right now there it is appearing on the table dudes it's such a cool easter egg and let's check it out with the hell's retriever dudes come on what's gonna happen no, dude. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be able to do this because it's not a drop, but I wanted to believe, dude. So, no, cannot pick up the Blundergat with the Hell's Retriever on Mob of the Dead. I'm gutted. I wish this worked so much, dude. It would have looked so cool, but no, it is not possible to do that inside of Mob of the Dead. And let's get on to the final myth of today's show, dudes. And the final myth of today's show, dudes, is being sent in by MLG Zombie 21. And he says, myth. On Mob of the Dead, when you get to kill Weasel on the Golden Gate Bridge at the end of the Easter egg, can you kill him one hit with the Golden Spark? And then four pizza emojis. Dude, let's go and check this epic, epic myth 
out. Now, you guys know, because of the first myth, I kind of explained this. Once you do end up beating the Easter egg on Mob of the Dead, you fly over to the Golden Gate Bridge, and then it's a battle to the death to see who is going to win first. Will it be the three players that also have zombies going after them, or will it be Weasel, who is just on his own, but he has no zombies going after him, dude? So, we're going to make our way over to the Golden Gate Bridge right now, and then once we are on there, I'm going to walk over to Weasel, hit him with the Golden Spork, and we can see if that will kill him in one hit. Let's go check this out. So here we are, guys, on the final step of Mob of the Dead. I've revived my character right now, and now we're literally just waiting until Weasel gets the symbol above his head so then we can go over and actually kill the Weasel and see if the Golden Spark idea or myth will actually work, dude. So here we go. All we're waiting for, once again, is that tiny little symbol to appear above Weasel's head, and then we can find this out. There it is, dudes. Let's make our way over to Weasel. Let's see what's going to happen. Are you ready? Let's check it out, and... Boom, dudes! Yes, one hit of that golden spark will kill Weasel, and that ends the game completely, dudes. That was absolutely sick. So 100%, dude, your myth is 100% true. You can kill Weasel with the golden spark on the final step of the Mother Dead Easter egg right there, dude. That is absolutely epic, dudes. Thank you so much for coming out to Mythbusting Monday's episode 78 today, guys. Huge, huge shout out to Gregor, PS Lunatic, and also Chopper for helping me out recording some of these myths for this episode. You guys are all legends. All their links will be in the description below if you guys want to go and check them out. Make sure you do also smash a like on this video right now as well, dudes. We'll aim for 3,115 likes right now. And also, make sure that you leave your myths for next week's episode inside the comment section below right now as well, dude. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. And I will see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you so much for watching, dudes. And peace out. <laughs>